I had a guy today to show you the paint and to put together this 3D printer kit. You can buy this online or print it on Fingerverse. And I painted to a basic level because I'm guessing you're beginners and you should always learn to walk before you can run. And also, if you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe because it's very important. You become a best prop maker in the world. And let's get making. To start this project, you need a range of supplies. Various grits of sandpaper, any type of super glue will work. Now we're prepping our parts. Start off by taking off a brim. I like to use a knife to take off seam lines off a brim. This is my most safeguarded secret. Use a lighter to get rid of stringing. Now just glue the kits together, but don't glue grips on it, as it make it harder to paint. I'm not using primer as it's not necessary and it saves money, and just use a generic black spray paint on the body of the gun. I hope the mighty strong solvents from spray paint is not explosive. Just using generic acrylics. Now we're going to roughly paint the silver bits. Don't pay too much attention to detail, as the wash will sort this out. We are using a technique called dry brushing. This is where you put a bit of paint on the brush and you rub it off so only tiny bits left and you rub it in the corners. This will help highlight the corners and give a natural worn look. It is time to use a wash. I really like this bit as it gives sort of age and character to your prop. It's basically telling a story. This soaks into all the corners. This also hides any mistakes. To paint the grips, I dry brushed three different shades of brown. As the wash tones down the silvers massively, we're re-highlighting it with a dry brush technique on all the corners and bare metal parts. I blackened the muzzle to make it look like it's used by Han Solo an awful lot. Then we added blue to make it look like a heat has got to the muzzle and annealed it. Then with a really fine brush and a lighter silver I own, I started adding scratches like little triangles to the corners of the blaster. When doing this, think about how the actor would use a prop, like putting it in a blaster or throwing it on a table. All of them would introduce scratches, so think about that. I am now super gluing the grips to the gun. As scopes are normally glossy metal, I added a, a layer of varnish to the scope. I did gold around the edges and put blue on a glass element. And now I attach the scope. The blaster is now finished. Thank you so much for watching, the massive help to me, and please subscribe if you want to be the best pop maker in the world.